Hello YouTube. Recently I found a rather fascinating Soviet article pertaining to UFOs. It was actually in the Nidelia magazine. The year of publication was 1980. Issue was 39, for the record. You see, since March of 1960, the Sunday Illustrated Supplement Nidelia, through the well-known newspaper Izvestia, had been published during the existence of the USSR. The 24 pages of the issue talked about the most important, most interesting events that took place in the USSR and abroad within the last seven days before the publication. Of course, to the extent, extent acceptable to the censorship of the communist state. Here's what the Nidelia article said, and later I'll give you my comments as I did a little research of the information stated there. Just know that GDR refers to East Germany. So, according to the Urania magazine, published in GDR, scientists from one of the American research institutes have discovered a truly amazing connection between unidentified flying objects, the so-called flying saucers, and the mass migration of the past of the forest lands, Clemens. It has been observed that UFO sightings almost always coincide with nightfall. According to 80 UFO sightings officially registered here, collected from 250 eyewitnesses of this still unclear phenomenon of nature, there is some reason to believe that the nature of the object's flight in the direction and speed of movement does not obey any pattern. The flight is accompanied by a noise resembling the buzzing of insects and multicolored radiance. Eyewitnesses note that striking coincidences of the shape of the moving object with a large swarm of insects, which emit a buzzing sound characteristic only for them during flight. The light phenomenon was more difficult to explain. It is suggested that it can be explained by a corona of electrically charged particles emanating from insects, similar to the St. Elmo fire, St. Elmo lights, known to experts. To prove their hypothesis, scientists conducted experiments on insects in a strong electric field. It turned out that at certain field strand, insect bodies shine in shades of red, green, or orange. It was found that a similar phenomenon can be observed in nature under certain meteorological conditions. Scientists intend to study in more detail the data of more than 30,000 observations of unidentified flying objects stored in the archives of the Air Force and establish a connection with luminous insects in order to lift the veil of mystery of this natural phenomenon. Now some of my comments. The insect in question is Horisteneura fumiferana, the eastern spruce budworm. It is a species of moth of the family Totricidae, native to the eastern United States and Canada. The caterpillars feed on the needles of spruce and fir trees. The research paper in question was written by um, Philip S. Callahan and R. W. Mankin and published in uh, November 1978, volume 17, um, Issue 21 in the magazine called Applied Optics, and the uh, name of the article was Insects as Unidentified Flying Objects. Uh, Richard Mankin is with the United States Department of Agriculture. Applied Optics publishes in-depth peer-reviewed content about applications centered research in optics. This article covers research in optical technology, photonics, lasers, sensing, environmental optics, and information processing, including machine learning methods for optical systems. Here's a brief excerpt from insects as unidentified flying objects. Five species of insects were subjected to a large electric field. Each of the insects stimulated in this manner emitted visible glows of various colors on black light, UV. It is postulated that the the Uanta Basin, Utah, nocturnal UFO displaced 1965-1968, was partially due to mass swarms of spruce budworms, Coristeneura fumiferana, Clemens, stimulated to emit this type of St. Elmo's fire by flying into high electric fields caused by thunderheads 
and high density particular matter in the air. Uh, there was excellent time and spatial correlation between 1965-1968 UFO nocturnal sightings and spruce budworm infestation. It is suggested that the correlation of nocturnal UFO sightings throughout the United States and Canada with spruce bud spruce budworm infestations might give some insights into nocturnal insect flight patterns. End of quote. As for the final sentence in the Soviet magazine Nidella, scientists intend to study in more detail the data of more than 30,000 observations of unidentified flying objects stored in the archives of the Air Force and establish a connection with luminous insects in order to lift the veil of mystery of this natural phenomenon. Well, here is another very brief excerpt from the article in Applied Optics. We should point out that according to the Condon report, the U.S. Air Force has 30,000 good sighting descriptions stored on tape. A significant number of these could be nocturnal light sightings. If some enterprising U.S. or Canadian Forest Service researcher could prevail upon the Air Force to release these tapes, the sightings might be correlated with spruce budworm and other insect infestations all over Canada and the United States. There's much more in the Applied Optics article, but those interested will find it themselves and they will be amazed at the efforts done by the authors. As for the Air Force, I do not know, but it is quite possible that the study was done at some point and the Soviets would naturally be quite interested about those archives, as are the Americans about Soviet UFO archives, I infirm. But I have not seen any more information about this aspect of ufology. But it is a page from the history of global ufology, and I wanted to let you know today. If you like my research, please help me through the <clears throat> links you'll find in the description to this channel. Um, please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.